Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about simple things to keep in mind when reading the Old Testament. So I like to think of the Old Testament as the origin of us all, right? It starts with Genesis with the first humans to ever be human on this earth, Adam and Eve. And then it goes on and tells the story of their descendants and everything that led to the people of Israel being a people in the first place. And it goes on from there. So what has helped me in reading the Old Testament? How should I apply this to my life? What does this tell me about God? What does this tell me about me? And how is this even relevant to my life? Is to understand that one, it's the origin of, of us as Christians. It's the beginning. It's how God made everything. And it's when we see God the Father at work in the lives of these people, in the lives of Adam and Eve, how their relationship was with God before the fall, which is relevant to us because it shows us how things were meant to be and how God wants to restore us to that state of being constantly and always in his presence, which we will get the opportunity to do once we're in heaven and which we can try to do now as we constantly are in communication and in communion with God. And there's so many things we can take from that. The other thing that you can take away when reading the Old Testament is to see it as testimonies. Testimonies that show you the greatness of God and show you what God did then and what he can do now because God never changes. So even though you might not have seen in your life, you know, someone having a child at a really old age like Sarah, God did that. So imagine if he could do that back then and he does not change. Imagine what he can do now in your life. God split the Red Sea in half so that the people of Israel can walk through. What does that tell me about God? It tells me that he's He's the God of the impossible. He's a powerful God that he'll do anything to protect us as his people, as his children. So that's how I like to read the Old Testament. And before I used to read it and it just used to be like a story to me. But now it's really exciting because I see it as a testimony. So try to think of it and, and it is. So think of it as testimonies of people and how God worked in their life and let that inspire you. And increase your faith to know that the same way he worked in them, the same potency that he worked in their life, he can do that and so much more in your life now. And another little mindset shift that is good to have when reading the Old Testament is to try to put yourself in the shoes of the person that you're reading about. Let's say, for example, we're reading Genesis and it's talking about the life of Joseph and everything he went through. When you read his story, imagine you're Joseph. As you're reading, put yourself in the shoes of Joseph, being betrayed by your brothers, being thrown in a pit to slavery, and then spending all your time in jail to then, through various processes, end up being like the right hand of the, the king of Egypt. So put yourself in the shoes of the people you're reading about so that way you can see that if you were in their situation or if there's a situation that you're going through that relates to what they went through, like for example, maybe God has prophesied a huge calling over your life, but you, nothing in your life reflects that you would actually make it there logically. Use that as a way to inspire you to say, listen, like if, I, if God did it for Joseph, he could do it for me. So when we put ourselves in the, in the shoes of those people, really try to envision for example, God asking us to sacrifice a blessing that he has given us. God asking us to sacrifice our children or asking us to, to sacrifice our, our husbands or whatever it may be. Put yourself in the shoes of that person. Like, what would you do if you faced that situation? And what would that reveal to you about God? And how should I act if I was in a similar situation? Like, if God asked me to give up something that I really, really love, the way he asked Abraham to give up something that he really, really loved, which was his son, what can we learn from that? We can learn, one, that God tests us sometimes. He may ask you to sacrifice something or leave something just to see if you really are faithful to him or to show us if we really are faithful to him. It also can teach us that many times as Christians, we have to let go of certain things and certain people simply out of obedience to God, even if we don't want to. So... So things like that, like try to put yourself in their shoes, try to understand them, 
and see how there might be some situations in your life that relate to what they're going through. And the Old Testament is really relevant, even though maybe some people don't think so, because it shows us a real glimpse or a glimpse into the God that we encounter now. Right now we have Jesus. We have a new covenant of grace. We don't have to follow the Mosaic law anymore. Now we have the Holy Spirit to guide us. But we still have a God that is invisible, that we can't see. The same way the people in the Old Testament had a God that they couldn't see, but they could hear audibly. They had very close encounters and experiences with God. So it's not far-fetched and it's not irrelevant when we see that the same God that was with them is with us. It's the same God. He has not changed. Okay, even though some of the miracles you see there may seem, oh my gosh, does God still do that? He does and he can. Um, just He does it differently in our lives because now we have different needs, different miracles, different things like that. So I encourage you to read the Old Testament. Don't be scared. See it as testimonies because that's, that's at least for me, that's what has helped me the most and has helped me take the most out of it. So if you want to learn other things that can help you start reading the Bible, definitely click here for a full series or watch this video or this video. And God bless you.